Hi, my name is Andrew from Virgin Island Yacht Brokers, your cruising broker. This is a 2006 Elan Impressions 434 that has recently crossed the Atlantic. Over the last year, this cruising family has made memories to last a lifetime and they are excited to show us their beautiful boat. Let's take a look together. Hi, my name is Ben. Hi, I'm Meta. These are our kids and this is our boat, Saga. We're looking forward to showing you around. So I thought I'd start off by showing you some of the features on the outside of Saga. So a couple of things to point out. Uh, one is the brand new Hydrovane on the back, a really impressive piece of self-steering equipment. The rudder and vane have been taken off just for storage, but we've used this a huge amount for sailing. It sails really well, it sails really fast. Second thing is this remote controlled and ele electronic pass RL, really useful for stern to mooring or when you're in a marina. We have um, 625 watts of solar. Almost all the panels are brand new and it's proved plenty for our needs. We have a Starlink dish um, on, on board, uh, which has been an absolute game changer. Allows internet connectivity wherever you are. One of the other very significant upgrades we've made to the boat is the electronics. So we've got a brand new uh, Raymarine chart plotter, you can see there a brand new uh, Raymarine Doppler digital radar, and we've got um, instrument panels on both sides of, of the boat. The Raymarine self-steering, uh, a multiple a gauge here that can show wind, uh, depth, etc. We've got an anchor uh, chain counter, and we've got a bow thruster, um, really helpful piece of equipment as well. And because it's a um, dual steering uh, model, we've got other, more instruments on the other side as well, giving you full visibility no matter where you are. A couple of other features to point out, there are four winches on board. All of them are electric, um, Harkin electric two-speed winches, operated by foot or by um, hand buttons. And that means that you can um, handle the boat entirely from inside, uh, all from the from the cockpit. The mast is um, is in furling. Uh, the Genoa is furling. It means you never ever have to go up on deck during uh, bad weather if you do, if you don't need to. Also wanted to point out the storage. So we've got um, two huge lockers, uh, lazarette lockers at the back. This one's jam packed with fenders, but I think we fit ten fenders in there. On the other side, we've got a locker with six jerry cans worth of uh, diesel in it, just to give you a sense of, of the size. And that's in addition to uh, these folding lockers under the seats here, this one um, on the starboard side, this one on the port side, as well as uh, more storage inside the uh, table here. And this table, of course, um, folds out to enable um, six to eight people to sit around really comfortably. So there's a couple of things to point out on the outside of Saga. Uh, we've got a brand new uh, life raft, or less than a year old life raft, six person um, ocean going life raft. We've added a boom break for downwind sailing. The standing rigging is from uh, 2020, so only a couple of years old. We had it inspected before our Atlantic crossing and it all got the tick of approval. Uh, we just changed the, um, shortened the backstay slightly. The um, sails are original, but um, as you know from the history of Saga, she's had very, very little use. So the sails are in really good uh, condition as well. Okay, let me show you downstairs. Come on down. So come down and we have a quite spacious galley um, with lots of storage. So you can, your space here, here. We've got two fridges. So one is quite a nice um, front opening fridge, which fits quite a lot of stuff. And then we have another fridge over here where we have drinks and that kind of thing. And this is also a freezer. So we use it mostly as a fridge, but it also converts into a freezer. This is the saloon. Um, this quite spacious dining area seats a lot of people because you can actually fold this table out. Um, so a lot of people can fit around here. It also converts into a double bed. So you can fold this side of the table down and then there's a mattress piece that comes up and you can sleep on two adults quite comfortably. We have a captain's table, which has storage, and you can kind of see the instruments here and how we control them, fuel, water, all the, um, all the electronics on the boat. Um, because we had the new Raymarine uh, navigation equipment installed in 2023, we have an updated panel here for AIS plotter and radar. Um, yeah, so this is kind of how we, where we control everything from on the boat. 
And if you come in this way, this is the master cabin, which is again, really spacious. You can lie on both, um, uh, both ways. So if it's a bit rolly, you can lie this way. We usually lie this way. Um, more storage over here. And then if you turn around, we have an ensuite um, bathroom head in here, which also has a shower and is quite nice to have that ensuite uh, on the master. So you come this way, you'll see the first of the two double cabins at the back of the boat. Um, this is where the kids sleep. So we have a double bed, lots of storage on either side and the floor as well, and access to the motor down here. I should mention that all these floors have been covered with carpet by all the owners who have owned the boat. So us and the two previous owners, so the floors are in really good nick. Um, we've just taken the carpet off to show you the, the floor, but it is really nice and usually there's carpet on it. This is the second cabin, which we use as a guest cabin. Um, it also sleeps two adults quite comfortably. More storage on either side. Um, this is a bike, which will be part of the boat, well, which we will sell as part of the boat. One really nice feature of this cabin is that there is an entrance uh, into the bigger uh, head bathroom, um, which you can see here. So it's quite spacious and it has a very nice big um, shower cabin with a foldable glass door. Um, so you can have, so it's a dry shower, um, so not everything gets wet when you shower. So one other significant upgrade we've made to the boat while we've owned her is um, upgrading all of the um, house batteries to lithium. So we've got 400 amp hours of lithium batteries, all controlled by brand new Victron components um, and able to be monitored from the uh, Victron app here. That's in addition to the um, Victron AGM starter battery and two Victron bow thruster batteries uh, dedicated to the bow thruster alone. So the engine on this boat is a Volvo Penta D255C, a really reliable, um, top quality engine. And you can see from the um, condition that it's been really well taken care of, serviced annually its whole life. Uh, one great feature about this engine is the ability to access you know, via the companionway here, which is lifted up, as well as from the port and starboard side. So we haven't taken off both of the hatches, but you get almost 360 degree access to the engine, which is really helpful for servicing it. Thank you for watching. This 2006 Alain Impressions 434 is a beautiful yacht that has been well maintained and upgraded by her owners. She is ready for you to make memories of a lifetime. For more information, please reach out to Andrew at Virgin Island Yacht Brokers.